What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest Z-Blaze Thor 4 Duel. So here is another new exciting full Android smartwatch by Z-Blaze. So first of all, let's begin with a very quick unboxing. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual. We've got a small screwdriver and some spare screws. That's going to be for the SIM card tray. So here we have a magnetic USB charging cable. And last but not least, the Thor 4 Dual by Z-Blaze. Now this is called the Dual because of course it has two cameras, a five megapixel on the front and a five megapixel on the side. So this is the first smartwatch that I've come across that has two cameras. So you will be able to do video calls with this smartwatch. So first of all, let's talk about the build quality. Now this watch is made from a combination of different materials. Now the back plate is made from plastic, the frame going around the side and the bezels are made from zinc alloy. So on the front we do have a 1.4 inch AMOLED display with a screen resolution of 400 by 400 and you also have Gorilla Glass 4 protection. Now under the hood we have the MediaTek 6739 quad core CPU with 1 gig of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. There is also Bluetooth version 4, GPS, dual band Wi-Fi, 4G LTE, a nano SIM card slot and this is running full Android version 7.1.1. Furthermore there is no IP certification and the straps cannot be removed. Now the watch dimensions, it's 48.5 millimeters in diameter and 16.7 millimeters in thickness and weighs 72 grams. Now the total length of the watch strap is 207 millimeters and in thickness it's 22 millimeters. Now the straps themselves are made from silicon and you have this lined design going across and on the inside it's a plain design. Now although this watch is on the larger side it's not very heavy and the straps are definitely very comfortable. Furthermore the straps are not removable as you have the antenna lines going inside the straps. Now to give you an idea of the size of this watch I will bring in the Samsung Galaxy watch and this is how they fare side by side. Now both watches have similar thick bezels but you've got a 1.3 inch screen on the Samsung and a 1.4 inch screen on the Z-Blaze Thor 4 Dual. But overall the Z-Blaze is much bigger and also thicker in size. But they do weigh more or less the same. Now on the side of the watch we have power button, 5 megapixel camera and a back button. On the other side we have our microphone and at the bottom of the watch we have SIM card tray, charger pins and a heart rate sensor. So I will quickly test out the charger pins to show you what it's like. So you've got a magnetic USB charger which just goes on top and it is a magnetic connection so it does fall into place. However, it's not very secure. If the wire tugged on something it would just immediately come off. I actually prefer the round plate chargers which go on top. They're a little bit more secure. But nevertheless this does the job and it will charge your watch up within 80 minutes. So closer look at the watch itself. Here is the default watch face and I do like this watch face. It actually reminds me of the old Samsung S3 watch face. I think it was called Frontier or something like that. So the watch face I'm referring to is this one here. So that's my Samsung Galaxy watch and you can see that they've done a very good job in replicating that watch face. So good job Z-Blaze. I would love to see more Samsung Galaxy watch faces replicated in these full Android smartwatches. It's definitely going to make things more desirable. That's the default one. To change, just keep the center pressed and then you'll be presented with a whole bunch of different watch faces that you can immediately switch to. And as usual, I will give you an examples of some of the watch faces available on this watch. When you get to the end of the list you just hit the plus sign to gain access to a whole library of free downloadable watch faces and any one of these watch faces can be downloaded and installed in seconds. 
So let's quickly go through all the features. If we swipe down from the top, you will see your connection information. So we are connected via Bluetooth and there's no SIM card installed. You've got your date, time and battery life. If we swipe to the left, you've got your quick toggles with airplane mode, brightness, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. If we swipe again, you've got your quick clean and then you have your music. So we've got 16 gigs of internal storage. Uh, you can load up all your music and you can play music directly from the smartwatch. So that's your music. If we keep going, you've got your weather information and you have to tap it once and that will immediately update. Okay, so let's go back. If we swipe to the right, you will see your notifications and I've got one there. It says you are a great technician. Maybe I am. I'm not sure about that one. If we scroll up, you've got your health information. So seven day fitness. Then you've got your real time step counter. You've got your distance, calories, and that is pretty much it. If we go back and now if we swipe to the left, you've got all your apps and we'll quickly go through them. You've got contacts, phone, messaging, settings, web browser, downloads, calendar, clock, camera, gallery, music, sound recorder, file manager, heart rate monitor, weather, voice search, the Play Store, you've got Google Maps, you've got Assistant there which will help you manage your connection, you've got Fitness and you've got their own ZBlaze App Store. So the first thing I have to test out is the phone features. So you can make phone calls if you put a SIM card in but at the moment you cannot make phone calls via Bluetooth. It's a shame because I'm actually waiting for a ZBlaze watch that will allow you to make phone calls via Bluetooth. When that releases, that's gonna be on my wrist as my daily driver. The next thing we're gonna to have to test is the cameras. So we have dual cameras. Here's the side one. You can see me waving. I'll take a picture of that, that wave. I'll take two, right? Then you just switch cameras and you'll, you'll have the front facing camera and I've taken a few shots there. So I'm gonna take a few shots and give you guys an idea of how good the camera is. So this is the video quality. I'm not sure what resolution we're shooting. It could be 720p, it could be 1080, but I will let you guys know on screen right now. So you can take pictures at the same time whilst you're recording video. The quality of the video on screen looks actually very good. So I do look forward to seeing how this turns out. So now we're gonna quickly check out the heart rate monitor. So the green light's on, put it on the wrist. So there you go, that's the heart rate monitor working quite well. Okay, so now let's look at the fitness app. So this is your fitness app and you can choose any activity you like and you can immediately start tracking your fitness. Next up, I ran a 30 minute on-screen test with Wi-Fi on, brightness set to medium, and everything else is off. And after 30 minutes, we ended up with a 98% battery. That is only a 2% drop and translates to 26 hours of on-screen time. So in theory, and based on this test, you could achieve up to 26 hours, which is absolutely incredible. So now I'm testing out the screen on raise arm feature and whilst it does work quite well, there is a slight second delay before the screen actually turns on. But I have to say this works much better than other full Android smartwatches. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 47 and upload speeds of nine megabits per second. So we nearly achieved our top speed of 50 megabits per second. And here are the results for the Antutu benchmark test. So there you have it guys. That was the Z Blaze Thor 4 Dual. 
So Z-Blaze brand new smartwatch is actually a very impressive one. This has the best battery life we have seen so far in a full Android smartwatch. Playing games and watching videos will always kill the battery quicker, but generally this watch will give you the best overall battery life. Now the watch looks very well designed, it's comfortable to wear, you have a beautiful AMOLED screen with Gorilla Glass protection. Now I absolutely love the design of this watch with the bezels and the time markings and the way that they blend into the watch faces and it makes every single watch face look like it's designed for this watch. So Z-Blaze have designed a near masterpiece. I absolutely love the clever design with two cameras giving us some great innovation to look forward to which we have come to expect from Z-Blaze with every new watch they release and guess what they don't disappoint and they are genuinely producing better products every single time. Now we have a few drawbacks, straps cannot be removed and not waterproof. Now that is all they need to work on ideally to make a near perfect smartwatch. Bluetooth calls just does not work with Android 7.1 so maybe a future upgrade to Android 8 Oreo will bring this feature alive. But for the time being you can insert a SIM card and use this as a standalone smartwatch phone. So that brings us to my top smartwatch chart of 2019, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the current popular smartwatches. And as you can see, the Z-Blaze Thor 4 Duel has ranked at position 6 on this chart. And you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So bottom line, if you need a full Android smartwatch with SIM card capabilities, then this is the best one I have tested so far. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.